morning my darlings just wanted to share our morning view on this winter wonderland morning how beautiful a pink hazy sky trees still dusted with snow gosh what a magical morning luckily because we got home so late last night my car hasn't had time <laughs> to frost over the windscreen at least oh gosh what a beautiful day oh honestly it's like living in narnia <laughs> Okay, my darlings, a proper good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas day 17. What a stunning drive. Oh my gosh, I think that might just have been the most beautiful drive that I've done since moving to the Cotswolds. And you know how I love a scenic drive, I really do. And that I literally felt like we were driving through Winter Wonderland because it snowed four days ago now and the temperature has not gone above zero since then. Last night was minus six. Speaking of last night, you may be wondering why I woke up at home this morning and not at Soho Farmhouse in one of the piglets. I don't know if I'll include the final clip that I filmed last night. I said goodnight on the vlog and then I filmed another cl clip when the drama happened <laughs> but I'm not sure if I'll include it because I was a bit delirious. Basically, we did notice when we um, were going to bed and watching TV we were watching Gavin and Stacey, we did notice that there was a rather loud um, humming noise and we just presumed it was the, um, the generator and the heating and we thought, you know what, it's fine, it'll go off in a few seconds when we turn the heating off. Reader, it did not. <laughs> the noise did not go away, tragically. Um, just taking off my MZ Skin eye masks. I popped these on this morning, Hydra Bright Gold Eye Masks, because safe to say I did not get um, a good night's sleep last night, so I'm just going to take those off. And I didn't do my makeup before leaving home because I knew I wanted to have the eye masks on while I was driving. Um, yeah, so we were so happy. We got into bed at like nine o'clock after a delicious meal at the Little Bell. Um, and we were like, oh, this is lovely. We're in the coziest spot. Like the beds there are so comfortable. The piglet was so nice and warm. Got into bed. We were like, oh, that noise will shut off in a second when we turn the heating off. Um, turned Gavin and Stacey off to go to bed at like, to actually go to sleep at like half ten. And literally, it was so loud. And again, we just laid there and we were like, it'll go off in a second, it'll go off in a second. I think Charlie took a video of the noise, which I might insert here. So it was like, mmm, constantly. And then just when you thought that you could like treat it as white noise and still go to sleep, then it would change pitch and it would be like, mmm, mmm. And we rang reception, we were like, look, I'm so sorry, understand it's minus six right now, but is there any way that this generator could be, like, switched off or something? Um, so we gave, they, they took, like, half an hour to come and someone did come and have a little look at it, um, making an all righty racket, I must say, and long story short, they could not get the generator to stop making noise. So we actually decided that we would come home. We asked um, if the, they could come and send the, the car to come and take us back to our car. Because bear in mind, we live really close to Soho Farmhouse. This was just meant to be a, a nice little vlogmas festive treat to stay in a piglet. Um, but we just thought, you know what, it, at this point, we would just rather be in our own bed where we know that we can have <laughs> silence, wake up in the comfort of our own home, and hopefully get a refund. Because even though Charlie's a light sleeper, 
I'm a heavy sleeper and even I couldn't sleep through that noise. And this is not to say that like you should never stay in a piglet because I'm pretty sure that the generators would not make that noise would it not be like mega snow day. So a little bit sad that our <laughs> lovely festive evening at Soho Farmhouse didn't quite go to plan. Would have been, would have made my journey here also half an hour quicker because Bista Soho Farmhouse is half halfway between our house and here. But never mind. So yes, as you've <laughs> probably noticed, I'm just quickly popping on some makeup in the car. I've got the absolute best car parking space. It's currently 20 past nine. Bista Village opens at 9am. It doesn't look too busy. I mean, fairly busy considering how early it is and how frosty it is but i love to get here early the girls i'm meeting freddie emily and em are all currently on the train hopefully <laughs> hopefully they made the train from marlebone we are meeting here i think they're probably going to get here at about 10 so i've got 45 minutes to dash around and do the boring bits before the girls get here i think i need to dash i think i'm going to go straight to ugg and get a pair of slippers for Charlie. That's kind of like an annual tradition. Whenever I come to Bista, I get Charlie his slippers. He loves the black leather ones, the slip-on ones. Slip-on slippers. So I'm gonna go and get them for him. And then I would love also to have a look in Sunspell. If it's still here, I'm not 100% sure if it might have been a pop-up. Hopefully it's still here, fingers crossed. I made a major rookie error this morning. Major rookie error. And I did not put on cashmere socks. What a sausage. And when I don't put on cashmere socks, it makes me really realise how reliant or how much of a difference cashmere socks actually makes. Because my feet, until I could figure out while I was stopped at traffic lights how to um how to turn the heated footwell on. Yeah, pretty chilly. Because I've just got I've got thick socks on, but they are not cashmere. So yes, do I have a powder? hope I do because I am shine arama to stuff today. Oh gosh, <laughs> my hands are, oh my goodness. Oh no, I bought the blush and I thought it was an eyeshadow palette. Right, I'm gonna have to use Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette on my eyes. Not the end of the world because it's so lovely. Got my Beauty Pie brushes with me which are so lovely. You may still have time Actually, that would be such a great super last minute Christmas gift for someone would be a beauty pie membership and you could literally just like print it out and put it in a Christmas gift card if you left it super last minute. Don't forget the code Josie sent me for £10 off your annual membership. Do I have an eyebrow pencil with me? That is the question. That could actually be a bit of an issue if I don't. Oh, sugar. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness gracious not my favorite one but never mind beggars can't be choosers just remember that there's a pret here and that is fantastic news absolutely obsessed with this bourgeois mascara i'm so happy that bourgeois are back in the uk hallelujah <laughs> guys i even bought my dyson coral with me Where is my lip liner? There it is. Hallelujah. Do you know what? I'm just going to do lip liner and Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream because I need the hydration and protection on my lips today. I'm going to pop that in my bag. There we go. Good timing. Do I have a hairbrush? Yes. Michael Van Clark to the rescue. Now I'm going to do the laziest thing ever and I'm only going to curl a couple of sections near my face because no one's going to see the rest. I always forget how good the coral is at curling <laughs> and it's just so handy that it's wireless. I need to use it more. That's all I'm going to do on that side. Same on this side. This is how very lazy girls do their hair. <laughs> Literally, I'm gonna curl a grand total of four sections of my hair today. No one's gonna know. Lovely. That will do the trick. I know you're still hot. Okay. 
Is that switched off? I believe so. A bit of perfume, Tom Ford Bois Marocca. And I have bought my, well, <laughs> I bought my mega ocean bottle in the car with me because hydration is key on chilly days. Oh, you could totally fill this with hot water and um, put your, pour it all over your windscreen and it would completely melt it. And I realised I got my facts a little bit skewed last time I spoke about Ocean Bottle. For every bottle they sell, they will collect over 11 kilograms of ocean plastic, which is over a thousand plastic water bottles. Uh, and obviously by using an ocean bottle, you are avoiding buying plastic water bottles. I honestly think they just make the most amazing Christmas gifts. And to date, they've collected over 7.6 million kilograms of plastic, which is just absolutely incredible, especially for a fairly new young company as well. I've got my new brew bottle with me as well, also in the forest green colour, which I'm going to take with me now to get my Pret oat milk chai latte. And I also find that as well as being obviously more sustainable than using lots of single use plastic cups, I'm not perfect. Sometimes I forget to bring it with me, but I do try when I know I'm going to get a coffee out and about to bring this with me. It's also just a lot more convenient because you can twist it up and then you're essentially drinking from a cup. But also on a day like today, it does take me a long time to drink my coffee and this way I can have my coffee stay hot for the entire shopping trip and I can securely just like completely close it up and put it in my bag if I want to pause drinking and you know shop more free handedly so I absolutely love them Charlie and I have raved about ocean bottle for over a year now <laughs> we've loved them so so much so yeah I'm gonna leave them linked down below so you can add them to your Christmas list anyway darlings enough rambling I've been chatting here for 15 minutes let's get shopping the calm before the storm every time I come here there's something new la tua pasta oh my gosh a pasta restaurant at Pista Village oh it looks so lovely and festive and Polo Ralph Lauren, you can always get some fabulous bits in there. And a Ralph's coffee bar, that's new. I don't think I've been here in about a year. It's gonna be so many wonderful new bits to explore today. Okay, I know that Charlie loves the Bamford candles. I wonder if they are actually cheaper here than at Dalesford. Let's go and have a look. They have got the full collection of my usual favorites. I say this every time, but I always love to see what they've done with the garden bits here at Bista, albeit all looking very frosty. Holland Cooper, have a little look in there when the girls get here. I'm gonna get my gifts sorted first so I can relax. They've got a Santa's sleigh. <laughs> I think Nicholson's still do the, um, the gardens here. It always looks so lovely. Oh my gosh, honestly guys, if you come to Vista, make sure you come before 11 a.m. because it's so heavenly when you feel like you've got the place to yourself. I'm going to save stores like Chloe until the girls get here. Now I bet I'll be able to find something for Charlie in Barber. Let's have a look. Great gift ideas, these box sets, and a great price as well. I do always love to see what they've got in here because this brand is so expensive. <gasps> they tend to add a bit of unnecessary bling onto a lot of items, but they do do some great pieces. Let's have a look. Gorgeous knitwear, oh my gosh. <gasps> some gorgeous gifts in here. I think it was Leonora was looking for a double zip wash bag recently. Leo, <laughs> you need to come back to Vista. And I feel like Charlie would love these pieces. Look at this. <gasps> he watches. I feel like Charlie would absolutely love this, but it's still super expensive. But I think I'm going to see what their refund policy is. Okay, so I forgot how sometimes you go into stores and you look at the prices and then when you ask them, there's an additional discount in the stores. So Brunello Cuccinelli actually had an additional 30% off, but still so expensive. It's one of those brands where you're like, I would buy everything if you were half the price. 
but they're not half the price. Never mind. I'm gonna have a quick look in Max Mara because I feel like I can shop with more concentration <laughs> when I'm by myself and then it's more like the fun browsing when the girls are here. So let's go and take a look. A lot of the stores are quite strict on filming so if you see me suddenly stop filming when I'm in any of these stores you'll know that it's probably because I just got told off. <gasps> look at that knit! Gosh, so many things that Charlie would love in here. Oh my goodness, so many bits that Charlie would love in Loro Piana but the one annoying thing, I have just spotted a sausage dog. <laughs> The annoying thing is that a lot of these stores don't offer refunds if it's not right. Does that look like I've got makeup on here to you? Yeah, they don't offer refunds. It's exchange only, which is a bit of a pain. Um, I'm confident that Charlie will love the barber bits, but on those super expensive bits in Brunello Cuccinelli and Laura Piana, it's just such a big risk when it's such expensive pieces. Oh, if I was 100% sure I would do it, but I'm only like... 80 central. Now I know the girls will want to go into Dior but it does get super busy later on so I might just have a quick whiz around. So elegant. Look at this, such a lovely robe. Gosh that would be the most gorgeous gift. A Dior silk robe. My goodness, what do we think price wise? Half price but still 900 pounds. My gosh. <laughs> not gonna lie oh that would just be the dream thing to open under the tree this year silk pajamas oh no they're not even silk oh it's cotton cotton skirt and a silk blouse in their celestial print and in gold beautiful and here's a good opportunity to show you my outfit of the day max mara wrap coat got my Chloe boots on. I actually got this Max Mara jumper dress from Vista Village a few years ago. My super fluffy wire sail bag and my River Island fluffy hat that I got a couple of years ago. And of course, you guys probably can predict, full bodysuit of thermals on underneath because it is blooming freezing. I love the espadrilles. These are so fun for holidays. Let's see. Everything is around 40 to 50% off, that's good. A lot of people have been asking where my kind of faux fur sheepy gilet coat is from. It's from Marge, but a few seasons old, if you're in luck. Do you know what, there's something very similar in the back there. You might just be able to find it here. I always feel like this is a great spot if you need a gift for your mother or your sister or a very, a very dear friend. They've always got some great bits in here. This is such a nice evening bag. I think this is the Lily, if my memory serves correctly. That is adorable. It's actually a really sweet, ooh, <laughs> it's actually a really sweet size. I love that. So cute. Oh, we do love clearance. Amazing gifts. Imagine finding that on your tree. Mulberry Monopoly, my goodness. Mulberry matches for the hardcore Mulberry fans, Mulberry AirPod cases. I'm not gonna lie, today feels like in love actually, when everyone's just super friendly and festive at the end. Everyone is in such a good mood. There was just a man like walking down the street singing. I was like, what a fantastic voice you have. And he was like, what a fabulous outfit you have. Oh my goodness, everyone's in such a jolly mood. Still early, still chilly. I think the girls are about 15 minutes off and I need to get to Ugg. Ooh, cute bag. Yay! Reunited. Good to try and get all the girls in the Freddy's shot. Freddie's got hot chocolate almond croissant. Emily, what have you got? I've got a snow flat white. Snow flat white. Soya flat white. <laughs> I was like, what is this new festive drink? And Em, I love how we, everyone Nothing. crouches down. So we don't know. <laughs> I'm saving myself for my yummy lunch. Your lunch? Well, these girls have all got their hot drinks, and I Are need to go to and like find myself a chai latte. I want to get something for Ralph, so I want to The best chai latte and cinnamon buns in Vista. Possibly even full stop. Elephants, my favourite. Ooh. Oh, the cinnamon buns look delicious. Thank you very much. Would you like to try a bit? I had to ditch the girls to come and get my oat milk chai latte. They are queuing for Dior. Good job I went in there earlier. But I've got my oat milk chai latte in my brew cup. So this will stay warm literally until I get home later. They were actually saying that the coffee cups that they have at Oliphant's have been twice recycled already. So they're already very good. And he was telling me how their cinnamon buns won the Great Taste Award in 2019, 2021 and this year. Obviously it was COVID in 2020 and it's still nice and warm. So I'm going to have a little snorkel of this and then find the girls in Dior. They just had the 
Oh, I actually think I like the singular bow best. Yeah, I do. They're adorable. Some seriously jazzy designs in DMG. We've got a ski trip coming up. What have you spotted, little one? This beautiful mulberry head. It's quite old fashioned because I've actually got this, but this is like a much nicer colour than the one I've got. What do you think? Yours is like pearlescent, isn't it? No, mine's no? like, I think they called it rosewood. It's ah. like blush, but it's like a brownie blush. I know. Uh, it's lovely. It's and almost it's the same colour. Oh, sorry, darling. Oh. It's almost the same colour as your coat. Yeah. It's lovely. It's really pretty. So it's six nine five, and oh. then twenty percent off, which is like one hundred and forty pounds off, which makes it like five. Five five six. Oh, <gasps> that's very good for a for a substantial mulberry bag. I don't know if I would use like if I use bags like this. You know, like big bags. It's really pretty. It's a big bag, but it wouldn't fit a laptop. Uh, no, it would fit the pad. It's true. Do you like to do stuff on the pad? So you do. <laughs> it looks lovely. It's a very good size. Hold. I love the colour. Like yeah, it is. I mean, it does look rather lovely. But you've got your channel. Casting <laughs> over the Dior baubles. The Dior. Yes, they're so lovely. And that bag is just divine. It's so gorgeous. <laughs> Next stop, Lulu. Lulu. Charlie wears Lulu knickers. <laughs> so. See if I can get him some new boxes. It smells great. It does, it smells very clean. Just having a perusal in Monica Veneta. They literally have their full collection in here. I know, I was just going to say, this isn't out there. No, it's normal. It's a normal collection. Next stuff is the White Company, and just what I was saying earlier, cashmere socks are always a result. <gasps> Darling, oh, they are lovely. Are they lovely, sick cotton? Cashmere? Cotton cashmere mix? Um, it just is, uh, oh, it's 13% cashmere. Still, yeah. that's pretty good. And That'll keep you toasty. Yeah. That's lovely. Oh, thank you. Quanto S, how much? You always find the cutest bits. <laughs> they're 132 down from Oh, that's pretty good. It's a lovely gift idea as well. JJ, hint, hint. <laughs> so sweet. They always have great bits in here. The great bits for babies too. It's like towel dressing. I like towel she found now. You're a magpie for the pretty and the pink. I know. I always go pink and sparkly. Stunning. They're very you, darling. And look at the bows. And they've also got the clear version. Yeah. My camera thinks it's quite yellow in here. Oh my god, I hate this camera. It makes everything so yellow. We are all lusting over the little flatties here in Aquasura. Look at these little bum bums. Little slippers, little fluff ball over there. Cute. Freddy loves these. Oh my gosh, they're all so adorable. Okay, we're in Burberry. There's always something good to be found. I like the little elbow patches on this jumper. Quite a nice detail. Cable knits. They always have some lovely classic bits in here. My first ever Burberry coat was from Vista about 12 years ago. What have you spotted? Oh, that colour. I feel like wine... Down from wow, that is a great colour on you as well. That is lovely. So gorgeous. <gasps> I quite like it. Yeah, with my wellies. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. Oh goodness me, we need to organise a ski trip, darling. You are a festive stunning. snowball fairy. Yeah, a little festive fairy. Oh my gosh, right, let's... With your very pleased to see that So Her Home is still here. Let's have a little perusal. It's always interesting to see what bits they've got in here. Mm. Oh, oh my gosh, we literally just bought that throw for our guest bedroom. Oh, did you? It's yeah, lovely. isn't it so nice? With the pom-poms. Lovely. Oh, and this one. It's the green. Oh my god, Charlie's <laughs> gonna want that. I'm gonna have to send Charlie a photo. They are so warm and cozy. Aren't they? Got some lovely homeware in Soho Home. I love those glasses as well, the big chunky green ones. ones. Yeah, they kind of look like recycled glass. I like the green. I love the lamp. It's a good job Charlie's not here. I think he'd have it all. Leather chairs. Babington House crockery. Aren't they sweet? Little bar cart. Lots of great crockery in here. Oh, I love these little suede driving shoes. They are so cute. You are on top form with your product finds today. That is just the sweetest thing. Oh my gosh. And what is that pink coat next to it? Yeah, it's nice. I don't love this type of wool. Oh. But it is super cute. 
Gosh, that is fabulous. Oh, it's Miu Miu. Of course, Miu Miu and Prada are the same, aren't they? Yeah. Same brand, sister label. So cute. So oh, stop, Manolo. Let's see what they've got in here. I like the chocolate color. That's pretty. Freddie's princess shoes. Oh, that's so, so sweet. Just like what I'm I know. <laughs> I'm just going to call this vlog what Freddie loves at Vista. <laughs> You've spotted some great bits, though. I love the color of those. Next, our favorite, Kahaloe. Some very nice boots. Love the suede. Ooh, cozy knit. Is that a cardigan? It is. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so cozy. I only picked this up by accident. Oopsie, I like it though. It's lovely. Yeah. Cozy up by the fire. That's lovely. Oh, I bought a cape here last time. Do you remember? It's like plain tan colour. Did you? Yeah. I was there. Oh, maybe you weren't here. I would have been jealous. Oh, I definitely got Maybe I feel like I might have been with Robin. <gasps> oh, oh, no, it's a dress. Cute. <laughs> got so many lovely beds. We are in Gucci. They've got some lovely gloves. I love the horse bit detail. They'd match my belt. Beautiful. Lovely accessories, sunglasses. Yeah, Look at this. We love it. Rattan. Something crazy like 300 and something. 300 pounds. M has just found the bargain of the actual century. What was the full price? 1500. Fifth, so, literally a couple of days ago, full yeah. price 2800. A couple of days ago it was 1400, and now it's 360. Oh, well, I'll get to that. Basically, because the design is leaving. We, we, new design is not going to It's all just like stock, up so down. Get rid of it, yeah. wow. wow. This is also so just cute. such a good price. It's such a nice size. Do you think an iPhone would fit in there? Back in a minute, the chain oh my gosh we've we've just struck the lottery so we've just been told because the designer for gucci is changing everything is getting like slashed price wise so this was to see a hot 2800 then in the in the out here and then it was 1435 and then i asked him Wait, see this? I asked him if he could slash Wait, this so one for me as well. Wait, so why is it over there? Maybe. No, he said this is special price. Over here. Do you think there's any other promotions on this? Why is that? I'm just going to my bag that this would be my... It's choice. adorable. <laughs> just you. <laughs> I think this is lovely. If you don't get it, Emma, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, I need to try it on. I haven't even tried it. We love Guys, it. we've just struck gold. This is down to 300 pounds. <laughs> Emily is buying it. Yeah, These yeah, are all the like Ken Scott collection. They're all literally a tenth of the retail oh, price. So adorable. Really? Well, it's been a successful shopping mission. Both Emily and I have got our Gucci purchases, and now we've got lunch at Shan Shui. <laughs> we have got an absolute feast here to enjoy at Shen Shen Shan Sui Shan Sui Shan Sui Shan Sui. What does that mean, darling? It means delicious. Delicious. Look at this. We have got egg fried rice, chicken spring rolls, vegetable spring rolls, ginger fried chicken, bok choy. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering looking at that. Oh. Bon appetit, my darlings. I'm very hey, the little snow angels are feeling very full. I'm so full of you. Yes, but satisfied? Mmm, full of delicious. Oh, it was so it scrumptious. It was so shan shui. Shan shui? <laughs> does it actually mean delicious? I don't know, I just okay. that. <laughs> it does now, and maybe somebody can correct us down below. But we're in a little bit of a slumbery, slumberious mode because we're so full. <laughs> Love to make up a word every time. And now we are here in Ralph Lauren and we've spotted a lovely cozy looking section so we're going to have a little mooch we about gas we did it looks beautiful let's go and shop lovely gorgeous linda <laughs> if i was going back to nashville this is what i'd be wearing tennessee boots wow they are very nice cowboy boots this is fabulous this is fabulous Quanto es? 400. And I love these roll necks. Is that a jumper dress? <gasps> Let's have a try. Oh my goodness, these knits are so lovely. Ah, oh, classic roll necks. This would be such a great gift. So classic. Do you see behind that chap's hood? There is a faux fur shielding gilet type coat, very similar to my Marge one. If you're still looking for something like it. Oh, I do love a cozy cardigan. So nice. Sparkly roll neck, anybody? That would be very itchy. 
I love the big uh, sprig of the ilex berries. Lovely. Hey my darlings, back in the car and I say goodbye to the girls, they've got to walk down to the other end of the village to get back to the train station to go back to London. I think Freddie's going to pick up the gorgeous pink coat that she um, tried on in Burberry earlier, but I thought I'm going to dash because we have actually got our work Christmas dinner tonight at the house and I can't wait to tell you what we've got planned. It's going to be such a fun evening. I'm hoping that I might have had a delivery of some lovely new crockery and a gorgeous new tablecloth because you do know how I love to create a tablescape. We've actually got a private chef coming to the house. It's an incredible service called Dine Indulge and I'll tell you all about it later but for now I want to get home before it gets dark because I just hate driving in the dark. Um, it was a very successful shopping trip. Just picked up a gorgeous cashmere roll neck from Ralph Lauren, which is so beautiful. Gucci bag, a couple of gifts for Charlie. So it has been a great trip. Up till now, don't know where, don't know how. Lately I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes. So it's true. I'm so glad. Just had to stop the car on the way home to take in this incredible sunset. Can you see it's just going down behind the hill? I can't believe how it's still so snowy here. Look, there's not been a cloud in the sky today. Oh, it's very cold but very magical. Okay, my darlings, back home after another beautiful drive. I just cannot get over the scenery on the lanes at the moment. It is just so stunning. So you might be thinking, Josie, why are you not running around like a headless chicken if your guests are arriving in 40 minutes? And that is because we have actually organized for a chef to come to the house tonight with a company called Dine Indulge. I thought it sounded just absolutely amazing. And Charlie and I do a lot of hosting over Christmas, but we thought tonight it would be really lovely to have the celebration in our own home, but also Charlie and I not be the ones that are cooking and worrying about basically the food. Obviously we're going to make some lovely cocktails when our guests arrive, um, but we have got a chef coming over from Dine Indulge and the service, honestly, we've not tried the food yet, but the service so far I'm very, very impressed with. You basically go on their website, I will leave it linked down below because honestly it's just genius. You go on their website and there are lots of different menus that you can choose from. I think the most affordable is $29.99 per person and you can get up to five or maybe even six cores menus. Uh, one of our guests tonight is vegan, so every menu has got a vegan option. Let, I've just printed out these um, menus for tonight. So we have got beetroot and goat's cheese arancini to start, saffron tagliatelle with lemon and thyme courgette ribbons as our primi. Then for the main, those of us that aren't vegan are having fillet steak with shiitake and roquefort twist. Oh my goodness. Got sides of garlic butter and thyme noisette potatoes, grilled asparagus tips with pecorino and lemon zest, roasted young potatoes with toasted almonds, and then for dessert, oh my gosh, no, <laughs> then for pre-dessert, we have got lemon meringue pie with shortbread gin and lemon curd jelly, flamed Italian meringue and raspberry sorbet, and lemon coconut cream raspberry sorbet. And then for our actual dessert, because that was just pre-dessert, we've got a dark chocolate torte with burnt white chocolate mousse and honeycomb, oh my goodness. So that is what we have got lined up for this evening. I thought I would print the menus so that everyone knows what they are having. And yeah, it was just super easy. I think you have to book two weeks in advance, 60 pound deposit to save your date. And then you just get an email from your chef when they're going to arrive, what they need. And all our chef said they need is just like a clean and tidy kitchen. So we'll just clear everything off the worktops. I've got out some serving bowls that they can use for the sides, this lovely Port Marion um, Sophie Conran collection stuff. I just love it with the mistletoe. We'll probably take the drinks into the drawing room. And I just feel like for tonight, being our work Christmas party, it's so lovely that Charlie and I are gonna be able to switch off. Someone else doing all the cooking and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six 
courses how absolutely heavenly so i'm gonna quickly lay the table then go and get myself ready and then the team will arrive so it is lovely molly chloe and jake who are part of team fashion mumbler and they are their respective other halves coming along so there's going to be eight of us so it's gonna be a great evening i'm gonna get the table ready get myself ready and then it's time to to the table I'm just adding the menu cards underneath the napkins and I think it looks rather lovely okay the table is laid as much as I can lay it now without food and drink glasses so let me show you we've used um, the Dalesford tablecloth that I got in summer We've got this lovely set and I'm so happy with how this looks all together. This beautiful Sophie Conran Port Marion crockery set. So I've got eight of these beautiful plates with the mistletoe around the edge and the smaller plates as well. And I've even got some beautiful serving ware um, in this design as well. I just absolutely love a matching tablescape. We've got the Dalesford um, glasses, our usual cutlery, starter cutlery and main course cutlery, candles, foliage in the center, and I think it looks rather lovely. Okay, I've just finished getting ready in the nick of time. The drawing room is looking festive and cozy, smelling wonderful with all the candles lit. I have gone for my Reese burgundy colored dress for tonight. It's a great one for celebrating because it looks nice and festive and yet it's one of these dresses which is really easy to wear. Just added a few fresh curls in and popped in the lovely nice cream earrings. I feel like I'm just gonna wear these the entire festive season. And my Manolos, which look black, but they're actually green. Presents under the tree for the team. And now we just wait for our guests to arrive. I love that we don't have to cook. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so we've come into the kitchen and Andre has already started whipping up an absolute treat for us. Look at this. So what have we got to start? Is it the arancini? Yeah, it's the beetroot oh my arancini. Beetroot arancini. We've got a vegan version and we've got a regular version. Love to see it. The kitchen is a hive of activity and it smells incredible. Oh, we're doing breakfast. I'm going to elbow everyone. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, we're going in. Right, quick photo, team. Oh, it's on. Couple portrait, if you can fit them in. We're together. All the way, oh, we're falling in love. To me, it's perfectly clear. We're falling in love. So what do we have for our next course? It's a tiger tailor with the crochets. With what? Time, crochet. Crochet. What's crochet? Zucchini. Zucchini. Oh, crochet. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. It smells incredible. Some duck egg. Oh, beautiful. It's oh, oh, smelling incredible in the kitchen. Got the steaks on the go, all the sauces. Wow, fabulous. We're falling in love. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we need. Oh, Oh my goodness, my darlings, it is one o'clock in the morning. My gosh, a very late night for Charlie and I, but the girls and guys have just left. What a fabulous evening. It has just been so much fun and I cannot even tell you how amazing it is 
to not have to worry about doing the cooking or the washing up. Such a load off your mind and we will definitely be using that service again in the future. Andre was not only so friendly, the most incredible chef, he previously worked at the Fat Duck every single dish that he cooked was absolutely scrumptious, including the beef, the fillet was just mouth-watering, absolutely incredible. Both Charlie and I are absolutely thrilled and yeah, could not recommend that any more highly. We had a nice game of articulate in the drawing room by the fire, everyone's feeling very jolly. I've had a couple of glasses of, um, what have I even been drinking? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But everyone has just head home, so I am going to do a quick dash round, pop the dishwasher on with all the drinks glasses and get to bed. So darlings, I hope you enjoyed today's vlogmas. I will see you tomorrow for the next one. Good night.